do a really like a burnt red eye look and I did something really similar to this on my Instagram a while back like a long time ago and you guys really wanted to see makeup tutorial and I am finally making it so this is the look I came up with it's just like a lot of oranges and reds going on I just love this kind of look for the summer I have no idea why but I've been really into it so with that being said let's get on with the makeup tutorial I know what you're thinking I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to clip my bangs back so I can have my face all open and um, vulnerable to makeup. I'm going to moisturize first so there's like no ashy patches or anything. We don't want that. All right, and now that I am all moisturized, I am going to prime with this setting spray that I make. I know I'm that extra or that ghetto, you choose. <laughs> Oh yes. Oh, and you guys asked for a video on this. I will be making it soon. And for foundation, I'm going to be combining two because I like to switch things up and like make myself less bored. I'm going to be using this Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and I'm going to be mixing it with this iconic London uh, stick foundation. And this foundation is very, very light. I bought this like a while back. Like I think, honestly, like this foundation is probably expired. Like I got it a while back. Do you guys ever like notice that like your skin tone changes? One of my really best friends, he has this conspiracy that I bleached my skin because I was like very, very dark one time and then I got really, really light and now I'm kind of like in the middle of both. He's just like, Amanda, stop hiding it. We know. And I'm like, you're crazy. <laughs> so I just got this brush and I'm like kind of excited to use it. I've seen this like all over YouTube. I don't even know how to use it. Ooh. Oh, that blooded so fast. What? Is this what I've been missing out on? I've seen these like all over YouTube in these makeup tutorials, but I've just like have never tried it. Oh wow. I'm ready to pack more on. Let's go. Add this under my eye. Like concealer. Ooh. Ooh. This is creamy like I was gonna say like butter, but that's not vegan. <laughs> to blend around the little crevices of my face, I'm going to be using this damp um, non-beauty blender, if you can't afford it. <laughs> this isn't a beauty blender. Now I'm going to be adding concealer because I love to conceal. I'm going to be using this Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer, and yes, it is very amazing. Okay, now that I'm all concealed and covered and not there anymore, I'm going to powder everything. So for the powder, I'm going to be using this Cover Effects Setting Powder that I got at Sephora. I really, really love this powder because it is vegan, cruelty-free, and, you know, it works. It works. I also like to powder around my nose because it tends to crease, and my chin as well. So I like to add the smallest amount of powder, except under my eye. You can definitely tell that I cake it up there. For the rest of my face, I don't pat you know, every single section of my face. I kind of like to keep it dewy. But hunt. I'm going to grab this translucent powder by Over Cosmetics and it's a highlighting powder and it's very, very yellow. This works really well with yellow undertones um, if you are like me. I have my, my powder right here. Mm -hmm. It's all yellow and I'm going to grab it with this small brush and I'm going to add it right under where I want to sculpt my cheekbones. And now that I kind of have this like guideline of where I want my cheekbones, this sounds so weird. It's like I'm constructing my face. Okay, so I want my nose there, I want my cheekbones right here. But yeah, I'm going to grab some bronzer and, you know, like fix it up a bit. My bronzer's on the floor, BRB. Uh, damn! <laughs> you sad? I make myself laugh sometimes. It's really sad. Have you guys ever seen like Gabriel Iglesias? He's like one of my all-time favorite comedians and I swear I've been like binge watching his stuff on Netflix and he has this like one joke he has like five or six levels of being overweight or something I don't actually don't remember if there was like four five or six but I remember like the second to last was like damn and then the last one was oh hell no <laughs> let's get back to the tutorial I'm going to be adding this right on top of where the highlight is and the bronzer I'm using is the Hula Bronzer. And by the way, I know I'm going to get comments. I know Benefit is not a cruelty-free company. And I want to let you guys know that in case, like, you're vegan or, like, you only want to buy cruelty-free makeup. Like, I bought this, like, a long time ago before I went vegan. Um, and honestly, like, I'm at that point where I'm just, like, using up the makeup that I purchased a long time ago. Because I find that if you already spent the money on it, like, why throw it away, you know? So, see, I'm adding it right here on the side. 
of my forehead, adding that tan back. And to further contour my face, I'm going to be grabbing the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. And I freaking love this sculpt color. It looks really light on the pan, but I can assure you it's like, it's good. It's so good. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in my brows. Oh yes. I've been keeping my brows pretty simple. Um, I really like the shape of them. All I really do is add dark brown eyeshadow. For this front part right here, all you need is one line on the bottom. And I just blend upwards. Alright, and now just set your brows with some brow gel. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, and this is in Caramel. Because your homegirl got some black brows. Alright, and now we can just blend this powder away. Really, I've been loving this blush by Italia, and this is just like a coral red blush. Really like it. And I feel like I want to do something like this on the eye lids so it, it would kind of match. I usually add blush like you know around like the center of my face but I want to add it a bit higher this time. Just the look I'm going for. And this may seem like a lot of blush but like girl this is the look we're going for. This is a makeup tutorial. Any anything goes. I wanted to do the blush first because I really wanted it to like inspire me. I'm feeling inspired. And for highlighter I'm going to be taking this Laura Jeller highlighter and this is in Gilded Honey. Look at that. Just look at it. I'll tilt my head up and I'll see like where this like glow is kind of hitting me. And I'll just add it right there. I saw this one girl on Instagram and she added highlighter right here on the tip. And then she added it right here on the very, very top. And I swear it just looked so good. It looked so good. So I'm going to do that. Homegirls, it's time for the eyes. <laughs> First, I'm going to prime the eyelids. And to make sure my lids aren't too sticky, I'm going to be grabbing this big fluffy brush with a bit of powder. Just so when I'm adding colors, it's like not sticky when I'm blending. Girl, I want it to be smooth. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off. I'm grabbing this Morphe 35B palette. It's basically the color of the rainbow in a palette. I'm probably going to be using these colors right here, like these two oranges, because I'm feeling it. Grabbing this orange right here making a big windshield motion. Like imagine like you're driving in the rain. Okay, I'm switching to my ColourPop palette. I'm gonna be going back and forth and I'm using this like rusty color right here. That rust though. And I'm focusing this one more on the outer, th uh, the outer half. These colors are obviously very, very pigmented. So go a little at a time because this is gonna be a pain to blend. And for the lid, I'm going to be taking this Pony Effect um, Liquid Eyeshadow color, Lucky Charm, and it's like a gold orange kind of color. Oh guys, like look at that. That's like liquid gold right there. <laughs> and I'll probably use a small brush because this stuff looks like very pigmented. Don't want to mess with it. I would work one eye at a time because when this is wet, it'll get everywhere. So you just have to like make sure it dries before you move on. Okay, now that this is all dry, I'm going to be grabbing this flat definer brush and ignore that. <laughs> I'm going to use this to um, darken up the borders of this. Okay, and to finish off the eyes, I'm going to blend a bunch of orange underneath. All right, now I'm going to be applying some false lashes. And because I am totally obsessed with freckles, I'm going to add a bit of freckles on the bridge of my nose and a little bit to like, I don't know, maybe to here to my cheek. You definitely don't have to do this, but I have been so into them. I I just have to, I, I just want to. <laughs> and don't forget to blend with your finger. You guys don't know this, but I took a quick break, went to the kitchen, got some bananas, peanut butter, and some granola on this plate. Mmm. <laughs> Who stops a makeup tutorial to get food? <laughs> if you can relate to this level, subscribe. <laughs> this is the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in Ginger. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm done. 
Alright you guys, and that was the makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I have been like really into oranges and reds on the lids. So I really hope you guys, you know, are like feeling this kind of makeup because I'm feeling this kind of makeup and I'm also feeling this kind of snack right now. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, be sure to subscribe down below because your homegirl wants to see you more often and I'm sure you want to see... Me? That sounds kind of cocky, huh? Never mind. But, like, I want to see you more often, so subscribe. <laughs> that is basically it. I love you guys a ton, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!